In this tutorial, we will give you a brief overview of what a computer network is and the two main types of computer networks. A computer network is an interconnected group of devices that share resources. These resources may include a printer, scanner, CD burner, or computer programs. Creating a network can be very useful in many settings, home or office, for example. Unlike a single computer which is limited to only its own hardware and software, creating a computer network can increase a computer's capabilities because of the resources that become available to the user. The main purpose of computer networking is sharing. By creating a network, computers are able to share resources, things like hardware and software. For example, you will be able to share a printer or scanner or even computer programs such as Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop. There are two types of computer networks. Server-based networks are controlled by a high-power server. The server provides the network security and control, and shared software is stored on the server rather than client computers. However, if the server is down, the entire network will not function. Additionally, these types of networks tend to be fairly expensive and require specialized personnel to manage it. The second type of network, a peer-to-peer -peer network, is when no single computer controls the network and each computer is the same, or a peer, to all others. However, a limitation to peer-to-peer -peer networks is its capability of only supporting a maximum of 12 computers. Also, there is no centralized management in this type of network, so if one computer shuts down, other computers cannot access its resources. In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up a peer-to-peer -peer network and share resources such as software and hardware. To create a peer-to-peer -peer network, you need to first of all prepare your hardware. You need to prepare the wire and the cable head end, which is also called a RG45. If you plan to make an RG45 yourself, you need to connect the color codes to the network cable head. There are two plans to do so. Here we chose plan B, which is the most commonly used way to do that. You can just simply follow the order from left to right orange white, orange, green white, blue, blue white, green, brown, and brown white. You also need to have a hub which connects all the computers. Use the cable to connect the computer and the hub by plug the RG45 to both ends. A connected peer-to-peer -peer network hardware should be looking like this. Now we need to take a look at how to make the configuration on each computer. First, click the Start button and select Control Panel. Then, choose Network and Internet Connections and Network Connections. You'll choose Set Up a Home or Small Office Network. That will bring you to the Network Setup Wizard. Click Next to proceed you can choose the computer connects to the internet through a residential gateway or through another computer in the network you click on that and you can choose next you'll enter your computer description and computer name such as computer 1 for computer description and C1 for computer name give each computer on the network a unique name and description and press next again. You can name your network. In this tutorial the network name will be IT662 group. Select next and turn on file and printer sharing. Then look over everything. If it is correct you can press next. Alright then just finish the wizard and you can click next and then finish to configure the IP address first press the start button and select control panel select network and internet connections then select network connections right click local area connections and then select properties be sure that the internet protocol TCP slash IP is selected and then 
click the properties button underneath that to the right. Check use the following IP address and fill in 192 168 zero, 01. You'll notice that the subnet mask will automatically appear. Press OK at the bottom of the window and then click close. Right click your local area network connection again and select status. Observe the sent and receive activity of your network. And this process must be repeated for every computer on the network. And this concludes our tutorial. Thank you.